Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse. Okay, three weeks later and it is supposed to be here today. Today is Pods Day. I got a call from them last night confirming that they'll be here sometime between 7.30 and 10 this morning. And it is 7.30 now, so I am waiting. Oh, it's going to be a busy and a hot day today. It's supposed to be 93 degrees. Yay. Let's do this. All right, my first pod has arrived. Now comes the, the trick to see if they can uh, pop it into that spot. We'll see. The guy says he can do it. All right, so I got everything moved in here. Uh, it's a mess in here right now. But obviously the priority is to get the TV and internet going and all that stuff. So that's going. We're good to go there. Um, a lot of this stuff I think is going to probably end up having to go into a, a storage locker. I think ultimately that's what I want to do because, you know, after the uh, hassles with pods, I just basically want to, you know, break contact with them as quickly as possible. And I think that means uh, going and renting a truck and... Uh, unloading all of my uh, pods and putting them in a storage locker. I'm thinking now since I'm here in Texas and probably not going to move that much further that that would probably be less expensive to do so rather than uh, continuing to uh, you know pay for uh, pay for the pods which is like for the for the two remaining pods that's gonna be like 500 bucks a month and that's an awful lot. So it's good to have my couch in. I got my chair going and all that fun stuff. Uh, Got to set up my DVDs tonight. Hopefully we'll get that done. And a lot of this stuff, you know, extension cords that I use for Halloween and Christmas. Uh, don't really need that right now. I think the bike can probably go into the storage locker. Although I might keep that here. That might not come in. It might not be such a bad thing to have around here. A little tool stand here. That's going to probably uh, go away for now. And of course the, the kitchen out here is kind of a mess right now. Because a lot of this stuff I haven't even dealt with yet. So, you know, I got my tools in and that's all good to go. Uh, got some of my big stuff. So probably, probably like I said, put that in a storage locker. Probably not going to need to have a wheelbarrow and rakes and stuff like that while I'm in the apartment. So that can go in a storage locker. Um, sawhorse can go into the storage locker. That's part of the, uh, the workbench thing kitchen in here is kind of a mess right now because I got a lot of boxes you know all the dishes and all that stuff but that's good to go you know I can just put that in the cabinet and break down those boxes and we'll be good to go for that got brought the microwave here I don't know at this point they provided a microwave so I might just uh, continue using theirs rather than plug another one in here one of the things I've discovered about this kitchen is there just aren't really a whole lot of outlets so if you got the microwave in the uh, in the cabinets here then it's already got power and I'm not going to be tying into one of the two outlets that are in the kitchen here so we'll probably just do that that'll go into the storage locker uh, probably you know got a lot to do here before I do too much tonight because I don't think I'm gonna get this all unpacked tonight so I'll probably go out and get something to eat one more night here I'm uh, you know too tired to to uh, to do a whole lot right now. It's really hot out today. It's like 93. So unfortunately for the kitties, they're gonna lose a little bit of their room too. They're gonna end up storing some stuff. So you know, I got the got that, and I got a couple chairs and stuff like that. And you know, why why uh, put them in a locker? I can probably use them around here. And go across to the master bedroom. I don't have the bed hooked up yet right now, but. I got it all up here. I'll definitely get that hooked up tonight before I go to bed. You know, that mattress has actually been very, very comfortable, but um, I'm ready to be back on my own bed. And of course, now I got some clothes again, so that's gonna be nice. I'm not gonna have to live with the same five shirts, the same five pairs of underwear, save five pairs of socks and, and three pairs of pants. You know, I'm gonna have a little variety now. Part of what's in that is some dress clothes that I'm gonna need for like job interviews and stuff like that, so. That's all gonna happen relatively quickly now, hopefully. Right now it's a little inconvenient to get to the computer what, with a the couch there and all. But ultimately what I wanna do is push that couch against the wall and then have the whole computer desk go in here and be against this wall. But obviously I gotta move a few things before we do that. 
So I got the palm trees out of the pod truck. They appear to have survived. They're a little bit yellow right there at the uh, at the base, but I think that uh, give a couple days and those will be all right. Uh, cactus seems to be doing fine. I don't know if you can see it. It's through there. Uh, and all three of the palm trees survive, so we're going to give them a good watering, and I think that should be enough for them. They're going to be happy here. So it's been a very long, hard, uh, hot day, so uh, sorry there weren't a lot of action shots today. Trust me, uh, nobody wants to watch me sweat. So that's all I really have for tonight. Uh, thanks as always for watching, and hopefully tomorrow we'll come back and have a few more things cleaned up and this place will actually start looking like a home. Uh, thanks as always for watching and good night.